Hey guys, now that we are halfway through 2023, I figured I'd come on here and share with you my media reset. So I'm going to go through my goals for 2023, the progress, and also some of the changes that I am thinking of making um, in 2023, at least the second half of 2023 to help me achieve my goals. So I think what I'll start off with this video is firstly looking at the goals that I actually set, how I'm tracking them, where I am right now, and then let's look at the changes. So I have my trusted legend planner here this planner I got from Amazon and um, it's literally just called a legend planner and I love it absolutely love it so we have my legend planner that I'll be walking you through then I also have my uh, mood board as well vision board I should call it so this is my vision board so I'm not really sure if you can see much because it's just a, a piece of paper let me see if i can actually yes so this is my vision board and then with my vision board i also have my ipad because i track certain things in google sheets so that's what we're gonna do so now let's look at exactly what i had set as my goals so on one of the pages in the legend planner i don't know if you'll be able to see this because yeah so this is my year, my one year uh, goal. So my most important one year goals are written here, and there's like five, um, five rows here. So for the first one, I had said for my goals this year, I would like to reach one million in assets and half a million in net worth so what i'm doing in this box is i am tracking what are my assets doing at the moment so what is the value at the moment and then i'm also tracking the net worth because this is a two-part uh, goal for me for 2023 then the second goal that i had is to reach 75k in all of my investments and this one is also a two-part goal because i then further broke it down into 50k of that 75 should be in my pension 25k of that should be in my pre-pension investments so that's what I'm tracking in the second bucket. In the third bucket, I'm tracking the travel goal of say 5,000 pounds for travel. And then I would like to enjoy two one week vacations as well as multiple long weekends. So I've been doing this and I intend to do that the rest of 2023, God willing. So that's what I'm tracking in that uh, third bucket. The fourth bucket was something that i did not share um in my original video on a 2023 goals i'll try and link it below and up above in the cards and that was to purchase my third rental property and we're going to touch on that quickly in today's video and then the fifth one was to reach 15k in my emergency fund so this is also then further broken down into two 10k for my main home and 5k for my rental properties so you notice a theme with my goals i set a major goal and then i break it down because i believe in breaking them down into bite size so across the year i'm also seeing if i'm getting closer to that goal instead of waiting until december to be like oh where how did i do or where did i get to and i this planner also helps me track quarterly and we'll look at that quickly so if we first start off at reaching 1 million in assets as of filming this video today is 3rd of July in assets I am 92% there so my goal is a million and I'm 92 actually sorry 92% is what I was at in Q1 of this year as of filming this video at the end of Q2 I was at 90 3.1%, let's not count the 1%. I mean, it makes a difference, but it's 93%. So I actually went up a percent um, over, which is absolutely great. So in assets, in Q1, I was at 92%. In Q2, I am at 93%. Net worth, um, my net worth was just under 400K um, in net worth then and it's still under 400 but this time it's actually gone down by 20 um 20k actually because of a lot of 
reasons but the stock market property market all of that which is as well as my savings going down as well so at the middle of 2023 we are really doing great in terms of how i'm tracking with my progress 93 percent is absolutely incredible to be at 93 percent and i think in one of my planners I, I have it here i have to look but i think in one of these planners uh in the middle of june i tracked yes on the 17th of june i tracked the numbers and the reaching one million yes 93 percent half a million i am at 74 percent net half a million in net worth i am still at um 74% of my goal. Then the next goal, which is to reach 75K in investments, I achieved this. And what is funny is I reached, I want to say 94% in my goal to have 50K saved in my, um, in my pension. And I actually went uh, like almost 110 for my 25 K in pre-investment so this one actually superseded so this is what then propelled me over to reach my goal even though I didn't reach 50k in pension I actually went over on the pre-pension so I'm still happy because when I add these two numbers up I am over 75% at the time of filming this video when we closed off um, June I was at 76 percent um, of my way there which is absolutely incredible then when I look at my save 5k for travel if you watch my transfer Tuesday videos you know that I have reached for just under 5,000 4,500 sorry so I'm actually only 500 pounds away from my goal so which I think I'll be able to reach next month month of August 2023 so I'm doing really well with this goal and I'm very happy about that the fourth bucket here, which is purchase a rental property, the third rental property, I didn't want to actually talk about this on the channel until, well, never actually. I was just going to surprise you guys with like uh, when I'm sharing about property investment and stuff like that, but I actually purchased a third rental property, another buy to let property here in the UK, again, near where I live, which is absolutely incredible. So this, I was hoping, will help me propel me to accomplish my first goal. It, in a way, has helped me with the first goal of one million in assets. And I'll talk about that in a separate video um, once I have finished everything and all of that good jazz. But not on the half a million in assets. And we'll talk about that in more detail. Then the fifth and final goal was to reach 15K and boy oh boy has it been a whirlwind of things like the month of may the month of june were just some of the most expensive months for me ever so much that i touched my emergency fund which i know it sounds funny the reason i have an emergency fund is so that i can take care of these emergencies but i don't like spending the money in my emergency fund i would like to keep it there but I've touched on it and that has really brought me really really down so I'm currently 25% in my main emergency fund and literally like a percent or something like that let me actually look at the live tracking so 25% with my main goal my main emergency fund and I am 6% yeah, 6% with my rental emergency fund because I just had to pull a lot of money for my second rental property and my first, my third rental property as well for some of the payments I needed to make. So that was all over the place. But at least I am on track to accomplish the majority of my goals. I think I want to say that come December 31st, I feel like I will have accomplished four of my five goals that I have. I literally feel that that's where I will be, but watch this space. I can't wait to share. But also for those of you who've seen this before, my legend planner, I literally don't know how to show it because it's so bright. Um, but I literally track and write everything down. And sorry, you can't really see it. I mean, maybe it's for the best. <laughs> you can see that I've written something down. It's very colorful. But yeah, that's where I am tracking and trending with 
respect to my goals. And then if I go further into this planner, it then further breaks it down into uh, essentially uh, quarterly buckets, which again, you can't see because it's so bright today, but I track, you know, in three months. So the Q1, I broke down my 75K goal uh, into, I would like by the end of Q1 to reach 40K in passion investments. I did do that. And what is beautiful about this planner is it also has, what is your goal? Why do you want to achieve it? And what is the reward if you achieve it? So for the 40K in pension, I said, if I achieve it, I would like to book a solo trip um, somewhere in the Indian Ocean. And I did, because I achieved it, I did. Then second goal, reach 25K in my uh, investments, my ISA. So the first one was on pension. The second one was on pre-pension investments. And I did that. And I said I wanted to buy a Kindle. I did buy a Kindle. Then back in Q1, I actually reached three months in my investment port. So with that one, I booked flights for me and my mom to go to my cousin's wedding. So we already enjoyed that. But now we have used up majority of that money. Then for the fourth core, I said to fully fund one month of rental expenses. I did do that. And I gifted myself an iPhone. So that was great. Then for Q2, when we closed out Q2, my goals for Q2 for the three months in Q2 was 45 pounds invested in my pension. I did reach that on the 4th of May. So in the middle of Q2, loved it for me. And I said, I'll buy a, da uh, a Hoover, a Dyson if manageable. Well, I couldn't justify the Dyson. So I bought a nice other hoover which i love then the second goal was to fully fund my my emergency fund i didn't manage to do that so and i wanted to upgrade so i have um this ipad mini i have an ipad mini i wanted to upgrade to a pro but uh to a larger one ipad pro but I didn't reach that goal, so I didn't get it. Then I wanted to pay off a loan that I'd taken out in November last year. I was able to do that in April, and I said I'll book something for my birthday. I did do that, and as you're watching this video, I'm on my trip. Then fully fund in my rental emergency fund, I did not do that. So even the reward that I wanted to give myself, I didn't give myself. So now that we are going into the third... um. The third quarter and also starting off the <clears throat> second half of 2023, my goals are as follows. Reach 50K in my pension. I'm still sticking to this. Even though I've already reached 75K in my investments, I still would like to reach 50K in my pension. And if I'm going to put it out there to the universe, now that I've reached 75K, my next goal, which I have on my five-year plan, is to reach 100K next year. But if I can start working on that this year, that's great. The second um, goal is to reach 1 million in assets like i say because i've just made a purchase of a third rental property and we've are uh, just about to exchange the contracts i am actually going to be taking this as completed as we are beginning the third quarter so we'll, i will talk about this in more detail when i make the the video and then i literally i spoke about this in my death free friday videos that i took out a personal loan and they charged me the interest up front. So that came to, I think, like £32,000. So I'm working to pay that down. So my goal for Q3 is to bring that to under 30 k So I right now it's over um, 31000 So I would like to bring it down to under 30 k in the next three months. I would like to reach, uh, for my fourth goal, I would like to reach £5,000 in my emergency fund. And I would like to complete the 100 envelope savings challenge. So my goal is to complete it by the end of next month. So we shall see, watch this space. So those are the five goals that I'm working on. So the goals that I set um, at the beginning, at the end of last year for this year, I am on track for the majority of it. I wanna say 80% of them I am on a track to accomplish, but there is, one that is really, really a stretch goal. I knew it was a stretch goal. All of them were a stretch goal for me, but I still went for it. But there's one which is a true stretch goal. So we'll see how that goes. Now, in terms of changes that I'm thinking of making towards my um, 
my 2023 goals that actually may not be any as I'm going through it because I was thinking I may need to change up a couple things but looking at this I might not need to I mean I haven't spoken about uh, my rental property emergency fund purely because I'm putting this on a back burner for now to focus on my own main emergency fund once I, I reach my goal in that one then I'll start focusing on the rental one as well because I really want to get my um, emergency fund back to at least three to four months of my my um, normal expenses so that is my goal so I'm gonna put the rental emergency fund on a back burner for now but not completely off the table but for now so this is how I am tracking my goals and then like I said with my vision board so my vision board really just has um, travel which obviously I am doing and the second half of 2023 God willing is every single month is travel rentals so I bought my third rental property love well I'm looking for future mr. mine so we shall see and be my own boss I think I am doing that already but I could do better and then wellness this is something that I've told myself that I definitely need to incorporate into my life and I have and then good food I have literally been chucking it down I have loved it and yeah so I am definitely leaving my vision board and I have this vision board um, on my iPad as the background on my iPad so I don't know if you'll be able to actually see this but my background anyway it doesn't matter my background on my iPad on my laptop on my phone is my vision board I see it every day every single working day I look at my vision board and I track my goals to see how I am getting on with those goals but yeah so that is all I wanted to share with you guys for my media reset I'm very excited for the rest of 2023 so much travel is planned so many places to be so many people to see and July is my birthday month so I'm celebrating literally every single day of this month so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye.